Hello, everybody. My name is Andrea. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm going to jump right into it. Let's talk about the pros and cons of being a teeth whitening technician, basically an entrepreneur as a whole a boss babe, somebody who owns their own business, however you want to look at it. I'm not really talking about cons as in things that I don't like, but they will be helpful to you if you listen to what I'm saying and you're kind of thinking to yourself, oh, Andrea, I don't like that. That will tell you that being an entrepreneur, a teeth whitening technician probably isn't for you if this is something you've been considering or thinking about. So number one would definitely be when you own your own business. So as a teeth whitening technician, you have your own business. What people don't really tell you off the bat is it's very easy to become obsessed with you, your business, and all things business. Because unless you're making tons of money right away, you won't be hiring an assistant to help you. You won't be hiring somebody to take care of the bookkeeping. You won't be hiring somebody to manage your social media posts, all of that. You really do try to save as much money as possible, and that means you are going to wear many, many hats. Now, I'm the type of person where I like to be kept busy and I like to be in control. So even though now I do have the money to hire somebody to help me, I prefer to do it myself. The only way that I, I would hire somebody to help me is if, let's say, I'm getting so many new clients where I need to hire somebody to see those clients or perhaps do evening appointments that I don't want to do, that kind of thing. But that is definitely something about owning your own business. It's not a nine to five job where you punch in, punch out, and then you leave the work at home. I feel like, especially when you're new, you're constantly thinking about it. You're answering emails, updating social media. So you might be working somewhere else full time until your teeth whitening business gets off the ground, but then you come home and you're not going to rest. You're going to check emails, check in on clients, um, market, advertise, bookkeeping, that kind of thing. Another thing that I wasn't aware of is it's so easy as a business professional, as somebody who has their own business, to get very distracted. So I do own multiple businesses. I'm a teacher. I'm a mobile dental hygienist. I'm a teeth whitening technician. So I'm kind of into many, many different things. I tutor um, dental hygiene students and dental assisting students for the board exam. So I'm constantly making new courses online. So I'm dabbling into different things. So when I'm working from home, so when I'm not seeing clients, when I'm you know, marketing, advertising, updating social media, when I'm working from home, it's so easy to get distracted and four hours can go by and I'm thinking, okay, I was working from home today. What did I actually do? I spent two hours scrolling Facebook. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but you get the idea. I spent two hours scrolling Facebook. Oh, when I had my coffee, I ended up sitting on the couch for two hours watching a movie when what I should have been doing was following up with clients. What I should have been doing was advertising about, you know, teeth whitening, my teeth whitening business, new to town. It's wedding season. I should be advertising into those Facebook groups where brides are looking for ways, you know, hair, makeup, teeth whitening. But I got distracted. So it's very easy to get distracted. Um, that can be a con, but a pro to that is there are systems to help you. So I love Google Calendar. I literally time block. I can show you guys. I literally time block what I'm going to do. Actually, I can't really show you that one because that is somebody else's calendar. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm doing this now. I should have thought about this before. I apologize. So I literally time block. I'm, I'm going to have to hold it away just so you don't see the names, but look at all the different colors. So I literally time block for what I'm doing, such as in the morning, I like to have coffee, sit with my dogs, feed the dogs, eat breakfast. So that could take one hour to an hour and a half. I time block that time. From this in this time, I'm going to answer emails and respond back to clients and follow up. From this time to this time, I'm going to do videos such as this one. From this time to this time, I'm going to research the next video that I'm going to do. Sorry, Teddy is very distracting. He's so cute, he's falling asleep. Just in case you guys wanted to check out my cute dog. <laughs> 
ah, time blocking. There you go. I don't have time to be looking at my cute dog. You know, that's not in my calendar. So time blocking is fantastic to actually keep you on track. I've been doing it for about a week now, and I'm amazed how much more I get done and actually how much more free time I have. When I time block free time, I'm not answering emails, doing anything. I'm taking it easy. And that's extremely helpful. That brings me back to my first point where I said it's very easy to get obsessed, where you might not have any free time because you're always working, but you can't get burnt out. You need to make that free time. That was always hard for me because my office is right here in my own home. So that was always very hard. Um, excuse me, sorry guys, I had, I had something stuck there for a second, random. But that was always very hard for me. So now that I time block, it is so much easier. Another thing that could be a con, um, but it's a pro as well. When you have your own business, once you start making a certain amount of money, let's say six, um, six figure income per year, the government takes away a lot of taxes, but the more you make, the more taxes they take away. So, okay. Um, but they do take away a lot of taxes. I highly recommend getting an accountant right away to really help you guys and maximize your potential because you don't want to be paying taxes for something you don't have to be. As a business owner, we get business credits. We get tax credits on our expenses. So this computer is a business expense. My ring light is a business expense. That chair that my clients lay in for their teeth whitening is a business expense. My teeth whitening light is a business expense. If I didn't put all of that info down there, I wouldn't, I'd have to pay even more taxes. So hire an accountant right away. Um, another thing as an entrepreneur, a teeth whitening technician is basically just putting everything together. What I just said. Okay. So you're either going to like it or you're not, or you're not going to. And then being a teeth whitening technician isn't for you. So a quick recap here is it's not a nine to five. You punch in, punch out, you go home and work is done. You're going to be thinking about your business. You're going to always be working. You're going to always be marketing, advertising. Your cell phone's right there. The computer is right there. You're going to feel like you always have to do something. But to turn that around, time blocking, manage your time, get a calendar, agenda, whatever, and block free time for yourself. That's what I have to do to relax but it's much needed because you do not want to get burnt out. The busier you are, it's probably a good problem to have because that means you're getting clients. So that's the pro. If you're not busy, you have too much free time, then you're not getting clients and you should really be maximizing your time better, if that makes sense. Um, you will be paying more in taxes as a business owner, a teeth whitening technician, but talk to your accountant about that. Um, and then again, the recap is um, you're always going to be busy. You're always going to be doing something. You're going to become obsessed where you think and do all things business. But you guys, being a business owner, a teeth whitening technician is honestly the most amazing thing ever. You can create your own schedule. You can work as hard or not as hard as you want. The harder you work, the more money you get paid. That brings me to my next point is you, the money you make is dependent on you. Okay. If you're lazy, sit on your bum, don't do anything. You're not marketing. You're not going to make money. You're not going to get new clients, but that's a pro as well. The harder you work, you will get those clients. You will make that money. That's the amazing thing about being your own business. Your own boss is you make your own money. You work when you want, how you want, how hard you want, or how not so hard you want. So if you've been thinking of becoming a teeth whitening technician because you love teeth, you wanna make people happy because who doesn't like white teeth? If you've been thinking about it, but you're not really sure if you can do it, you're like, well, other people can do it, but I can't, you absolutely can. That's where a teeth whitening technician course comes into play. I will leave the link for you guys down below. Definitely check it out. 
where I teach you guys how to be teeth whitening technicians, but there's also a full business course attached to it. So I teach you guys how to manage your time, how to market, how to advertise, how to do your own bookkeeping, how to wear all of those hats that I've been talking about in the right way to be successful and hopefully make six figures. Why not, you guys, right? Why not? So let me know if any questions, comment below. Let me know too. I would love to hear your comments. Does this sound, are you working in a corporate job right now? Do you hate your job? Do you hate Mondays? And you're thinking to like, as you watch this video, are, are you thinking like, oh my God, Andrea, that sounds fantastic. Have my own schedule, make my own hours, make my own money. That sounds amazing. You absolutely can, you guys. So comment below, let me know your thoughts. Click like to this video if you haven't yet. That does help me in my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching.